Good morning. Welcome to Bloomberg Watches. Um, I'm here sitting with Sam Buckle, our sales manager. Um, we're uh, we're just going to have a chat about what watches we're buying at the moment, what's selling well, uh, what we're enjoying buying, what we're putting our money into, um, and uh, give some of our viewers a chance to maybe inquire about buying something before it goes onto the market, uh, before we photographed it or prepped it. Um, so the occasional chance for a bit of a, a bit of a Bloomberg bargain. Um, uh, and uh, just share some of the watches that, that we really like at the moment. Um, not necessarily investment advice, not necessarily uh, watches that are gonna change your life financially, um, but just uh, a daily video about uh, what we're having fun with. This here is a H Moser and C, uh, Pioneer Center Second. That's 42 mil stainless steel case, totally in-house movement, which is really, really unusual for a 12,000 pound watch. Sam, um, can you think of anything else? That kind of level that, has an in-house movement, but... Um... Not on that level at the moment. I think everything, obviously, with the current current market, every every watch just seems to have shot up in price. So to find something under 20,000 in-house movement, with its classic look to it, it's, it's, it's very hard to find. I mean, it sits slightly big, but I, I've got medium-sized wrists. I think I'd probably prefer a 40 mil version. Um, but other than that, that blue gradient dial, if you can see it well enough, is really, really stunning. They do it in a green and a red version as well, which are probably equally hard to get hold of. It's, it's quite a quite a small production, um, and they're really, really gaining popularity. But I can't think of anything else I'd want to buy for just under twelve thousand pounds. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the markets are definitely changing a bit at the moment. We're uh, what are we? What's slowing down? Well, I think a lot of the bigger stuff. I think at the moment, what we seem to be doing well with is watches under twenty thousand pounds, and and not just Rolexes. You know. They're selling a lot of Amigas, IWCs, uh, some Breitlings, uh, Panerais as well. I think people are just looking to put their money into something different. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, Rolex Sport models are still selling well, under 20,000, but I think in the uh, in the current times, I think people don't really want to be spending, you know, 70,000, 80,000 pound on a watch. Um, so people are looking a bit different, um, which is what we have here, uh, a bit different. Thinking outside the box a bit. Absolutely. I mean, I like, I like this because it kind of bridges the gap between classic and sports. It's a it's big case, 120 mm -hmm. metres diving potential, rubber strap, so it's really, really versatile. You know, if you want something that you've got young kids, but you've got a relatively smart job and you, you want something you can kind of wear quite hard and bash about a bit, put your hand in the bath and you put the kids, you know, put the kids down and not have to worry or take it yeah. off. There aren't many classic style watches like this that also sit on rubber straps and not uh, quite as elegant as this. No. Um, so um, anyway, we, we really like this. It's just come in. Uh, it's probably going to go up for sale within the next few days, just under £12,000. It'll be available at bloombarwatches.com. But of course, if you're uh, interested in it now, you can send, them a, send us a message through YouTube, Instagram. Uh, you can send us an email or, um, call, us. or call us. We're on 0207 458 4544. Um, we're going to start posting a few of these a week. So uh, get in touch. Thanks for watching. Thank you.